to Sichuan. I have round cheeks and stubby limbs. I am your friend, Giant Panda Ivy. I come from Sichuan Province of China. The primal panda first appeared on Earth about eight to nine million years ago. We were unknown outside China until a French missionary named David described one of our ancestors in Baoxing, Ya'an, Sichuan Province, in his Journal of 1869. We are named Alleropoda melanuca, or the giant panda. Our ancestors were mentioned in the classic of poetry. Dating back more than 2,000 years ago, as the first live giant panda displayed outside China, Sulin caused a great sensation in the American press and launched the present-day panda mania. We are born with honest expressions, naive demeanor, and cute appearances. How could you humans not like us? When we are first born, we are pink with sparse white hair, weighing only 100 to 150 grams, or about one one thousandth of our mother's weight. After a month, we look more and more like our mother, with the black and white color pattern of our fur fully developed. We began to crawl at three to four months and climb trees at six months. We sleep much of the day and night, walking only for feeding and playing. Our mother takes care of us until we are 18 months old. Then we will leave our mother and live alone. The wonderful world awaits me. I cannot help but climb up a tall tree, gazing at my beautiful hometown. More than 80% of us live in Sichuan province, mostly in the mountain ranges, such as Mingshan, Chonglaixiang, Daxiaoxiangying, and Liangshan, winning the province the reputation of the hometown of giant pandas. The Sichuan Giant Pandas Sanctuary the world's largest and most intact giant panda habitat, were inscribed onto the World Heritage List on July 12, 2006. They cover an area of 9,245 square kilometers, roughly equivalent to 1.3 million standard soccer fields. It is one of the regions with the richest plant species diversity around the world. One of the 25 biodiversity hotspots designated by Conservation International. This is also a culturally diverse place with Tibetan Yi and Tang ethnic minorities living around. They are simple and kind and they utterly love this beautiful and abundant land. To protect us, the Chengdu Research Base of Giant Panda Breeding was built in the northern suburb of Chengdu. The captive population of giant pandas has been increasing rapidly here. You can see us at various life periods here from panda cubs to grown-up pandas. You can also get to know us, close to us. Visitors to Panda Channel, live.ipanda.com can now watch live feeds from webcams that installed inside the Chengdu Research Base 24 hours a day. Traveling north, on G5 Highway from Chengdu, you can visit the Tangjiahe National Nature Reserve in Xinchuang County. 
the Wanlang National Nature Reserve in Pingwu County. This vast valley, known as the Natural Gene Stores, has never been overrun by glaciers, helping me and my friends survive the quaternary glacial epoch. This is a beautiful place in any season, with clean air, running streams, and lush vegetation. We live happily here, wandering freely through mountains and green woods, tasting crisp bamboo leaves and delicious bamboo shoots. Traveling west from Chengdu is the Wulong Giant Panda Nature Reserve. In 1980, the first Giant Panda Nature Reserve was established at Wulong. Traveling south from Chengdu, you will arrive at the Ya'an Bifengxia Panda Bay, the China Conservation and Research Center for the giant panda located here. Here, you can volunteer to clean our houses, feed us, or take our photos. A great opportunity to interact with us and get to know us. You may also travel to Fengtongzhai National Nature Reserve in Baoxing, visiting giant panda if you are lucky. You can also find us in Xiangyun, a mountain range adjacent to the city of Ya'an, and with glacial terrains formed in the Quaternary Glacial Epoch. The Sichuan government has been creating new nature reserves and extending existing reserves to preserve and restore giant panda habitat. Among the 41 giant panda nature reserves in Sichuan province, we enjoy a leisure life amidst stunning landscapes. The giant panda has been WWF's logo since its founding in 1961. It has since come to stand as a symbol for the conservation movement as a whole. We have been China's goodwill ambassadors to many places, building bridges of friendship between China and the rest of the world. I was also one of the mascots of the Beijing 2008 Olympics game. Humans love us deeply. My image will accompany you in my hometown. I could be encountered anywhere. No matter what role we have played or where we have been, we all deeply loving our beauty hometown, Sichuan. We invite you to visit our hometown. For more information, Please visit www.tsitron.com.